Let's lock in. Broke millionaire. ODM. Ay, ay, ay. Ain't tryna shade on no ass. I'm tryna make up some bands. And I get a shade out the land. Yeah, show go to pay me a man. Uh, some people gon' keep getting robbed. Uh, some people gon' keep with the rock. Uh, I know who the enemy is. I don't want no beef with the cops. No, don't want no beef with your block. Uh, quit thinking I'm greedy, I'm not. Uh, I've been through that way, how we got. Uh, sit down, I can teach you a lot. Uh, I ain't tryna shade on no hands. Uh, I'm tryna make up some bands. Uh, now get a shade out the land. Yeah, straight with the lady. Y'all know we gon' break Cause we broke and y'all put dope on our face How does it feel to put your groceries away? I wouldn't know I've been going through that shit, man This is wrong I, Roman Hill, I go by wrong Uptown wrong, young wrong A lot of people don't know me We got many names, but uh, and, You know, basketball It's been a part of my life since day one Even before I was born That's how my mom and my daddy met Who? Like anybody that know East Young Blood, Anthony Hill They both had a name All my uncles my family breathes nothing but athletes, so it was just in my blood, man. My mom and my dad they met Hooper uh, at Garfield Park on Beacon Ave on the west side in Cincinnati, Ohio. And that's how I came about. It's just literally in my, in my, in my DNA. It was my first love, this and writing. My mama got poems I wrote. I was five, six years old, you know what I mean? And, and they rhymed. So music and ball always been the, the, the key point in my life. And it really, basketball has done more for me than anything else to be real with you like i don't have a, a big run on the music side still doing it but ball and got me through prison it, 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 it got me out of it, you know it got me into it got me a scholarship out of prison uh, that's why i ended up having my son that you know what i'm saying that I, I ended up traveling seeing the world doing this game so basketball has always been that diamond in the rough it, it, like, it, and this has always been something that i naturally had organically, I, I got this. Anybody that know me know, like when I lock in, I'm like shaped and focused and healthy, playing ball. This is what I really do. You know what I'm saying? And basketball is a reason for a lot of blessings in my life too. So uh, with me, like living multiple different lives, I'm in the streets, I'm doing music, I'm in school, I'm playing ball. I was going through a lot of different changes and I really had to detox from all of it. I had to step back and focus on priorities, get my life together, get this together, get this in order. And it all made sense, man. Like with the knowledge I got, the resources I have, it only it's only right to like give back to, to kids, you know what I'm saying? To the youth, to, to parents that get their parents that come up under me. Cause I ended up going three years in prison, came home and got a full ride scholarship. I mean and and I ain't look back. I ended up going to graduate from Augusta University. That's why I ended up playing ball at. I started at Cincinnati State, where I led in some double doubles. I led in some rebounds. Uh, uh, we was number one in the nation for about seven to eight weeks. You know what I'm saying? Uh, I was the co-captain. Had I got MVP of the year. I got I had the highest GPA on the team. Uh, so basketball was just always in my heart to do it. You know what I'm saying? Like I love to do this. I can do this every single day for the rest of my life. You know what I'm saying? And I'm so affiliated with so many players on all the levels in NBA, overseas, D League, Division One, D Two, D Three, coaches, trainers. It like it only makes sense for me to tap into what I love to do and to give back. You know what I'm saying? Because I'm actually bigger than just rap music. And it took me having my son to really get a grip on what I really want to do with my life. I ain't want to be one of them dudes that was just stuck. At 30 something years old, don't got nothing to uh, uh, just rely on just one thing when I'm bigger than just music, you know what I'm saying? I'm, I'm actually a voice of impact in the community and in these young life, and they need it. Like, our, our youth need it the most. So I, I kind of feel like obligated to help kids, you know what I'm saying? Because that's what's wrong with the streets now. A lot of big homies don't even really want to deal with them or don't trust them or gave up or realize it's don't even connect with them. And that's what's hurting us. It ain't nobody that's really willing to commit to seeing them do better than them. A lot of people don't want to see you doing better than them. I mean, how, to, how to carry yourself as men, responsibility, trust, communication. You know what I'm saying? But 
relationship, this game can really fix your life, man. This really can model your life. It can mold your life into what you want it to do. And you can live the life you want to live. You can really tap into this, man. So that's what I want to do. I want Dog Camp to be one of them foundation blocks that our youth can rely on. You know what I'm saying? Even the older guys that want a second shot, third chance, can come on, come in here and rely on. Me. So that's really my, my passion and what inspired me to, to do this. A lot of people are like, damn, like, what's up with the rap? What's up with this? What's up with that? I'm always doing that. I'm, not, I'm never going to stop doing what I love to do, but I've also been able to grow and mature and think outside the box and see what else I can tap into and do instead of being one dimensional. And this is something I do. This is something that has produced results. This is something that I acknowledge in, I care for, skill in, I'm qualified to do it. But why not help other people? Reach the way they going if you got the knowledge and the keys to get them there. So that's really the story behind Dog Camp. I know who the enemy is. I don't want no people to cast though.